Well, hello everybody. This is Dean Treadway with the Atlanta Film Festival and with Movie Geeks United. I'm here with Pia Marie Mann, the star of the new film Montadoro. Also here with the director of Montadoro, all the way from Italy. I guess both of you are from, <laughs> from Italy. To the long flight. This is Antonello Ferretta. And uh, is that, did I say it correct? Yes, yeah, Antonello Faretta. Yes, Ferretta. Yes, correct. Ferretta. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. And uh, their new film is extremely, as an extremely haunting movie that's actually based on your your yeah. own personal experience. So first off, throw to you, Pia. Like, uh, tell me about, you know, the, well, I guess, I guess kind of, Give, give the audience kind of like a one-line synopsis or whatever, if you can. <laughs> I, I uh, uh, was born in Italy, and I left when I was five, mm -hmm. adopted by an American family. And uh, when they passed away, parents, grandparents, uh, I went looking for my roots, because I knew I was born in Italy. Right. And that was seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that, I found my family, brothers, sisters. I found my past, my truth. Mm -hmm. The movie almost feels like a little bit of a, almost a ghost story in some ways. Is yeah. that something that you were kind of thinking about while you were making the film? or? Uh, it, is that, is that a fair assessment? I think so. Kind of I, well, I, I think it's a very it's the ghost soulful, of the past. It's a very soulful movie. You know, you're trying to find your path. You know, and when one discovers uh, their existence and their life, because I did not know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very haunting. It's very shocking. So you have to go into yourself and say, "Who am I?" Mm -hmm. Where did I come from? Mm -hmm. You know, would I have been a different person if I had lived all my life in Italy? And to find that they had been looking for me for 50 years was haunting. Wow. And I did not know that. Mm. You know, so that was, uh, and then I had met, uh, had gone to Italy, and that's when I met Antonello, Adriana. And, uh, the producer of the film. Yeah. We had a, <laughs> Standing uh, <laughs> right over there. <laughs> the backbone. Uh huh. Uh, and uh, it was a Bracco Society reunion for the people who were born, who had descendants, who had roots there. And uh, that's where we met. And that's where our story begins. So when you met, was it? Was it in your mind to do a film, uh, oh, or no, is no. it is it this guy that said? No, it wasn't even. I think I was very frightened. I was a different person back then. I didn't want anyone to know my my past. No that, one knew my past. That's quite a jump from from being frightened and shy to being the lead. Well, in that's the... what a good director. <laughs> a good, I call him my soul searcher because he's able to take your past your soul, what you're thinking, and he makes it tangible. He puts it on film. So how, uh, you know, how, how do you get to that point? Like, how, how do you... A lot of crying. <laughs> uh, I shot another... Um, I shot a, a poetry film in 2007 mm -hmm. um, in Basilicata, my region. I'm, I'm from Basilicata. The small region south of Italy. Right. Uh, in 2007, I shot this poetry film uh, titled Nine Poems in Basilicata with John Jordan, mm -hmm. uh, this famous uh, poet from a big generation. Okay. John belongs to Basilicata, uh, okay. from Basilicata too. Uh, this film is uh, structured in chapters. One of these chapters uh, I shot in Krakow. So I felt in love with this place. And, uh, and after this movie, I just continued to go in Krakow and to take photos and to talk with people. Because now I feel like a sort of uh, son of this, uh, this, uh, this abandoned place. Mm -hmm. um, 
This is the place where you filmed the movie. Yeah, right. Krakow, Krakow. And um, one day I received uh, uh, an email uh, from uh, Elena Campalengo, that is the vice, uh, the vice president uh, of the Krakow Society. Mm -hmm. The Krakow Society is this association of um, Krakow descendants. Mm -hmm. And uh, she wrote uh, in this letter uh, the, um, the background, uh, the location uh, behind this poet is Krakow. I said, yes, who you are? And she said, oh, uh, I'm Lena Campalengo. I'm, the, I'm from uh, Krakow Society and we are 700, 800 uh, people mm -hmm. descended from Krakow that uh, now we are living here in the US, between New York and Toronto, mm -hmm. Toronto, North America. We are coming in Krakow for the first time for our reunion. We That's want to come and see the place that gives the, 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 our motherland, let's right. say, our mm -hmm. motherland. And I say, great, it's fantastic, it's mm -hmm. a fantastic paradox, paradox this. I'm here, stuck in an abandoned place. Uh -huh. and, and then you got a whole bunch of people coming. All the community <laughs> is uh, on, the, on the new world. Uh -huh. And I asked to meet them and to... And that was and, my first time too. Yeah, yeah. and then met Pia there uh, in this reunion. Right, and that was your first time that there That was too. my first time. I went there in April for my... April 2nd is my birthday. So I wanted to celebrate for the first time with my mother and brother mm -hmm. and family um, my birthday. Mm -hmm. So I contacted them January 23rd and I waited because I was still afraid. I didn't know who these people were. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went over in March and we had a very big celebration for my birthday. And while I was there, my brother comes over and says, you have to meet this person. I think he's interested in our story. And I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then we did, and I think uh, that was the start. You took the... Uh, you I think the film us. started as a gift mm -hmm. because I met uh, Pia through um, uh, her brother mm -hmm. in Krakow. That moment of this big reunion of the Krakow Society with the location, the place. I don't like this word location, with this territory, right. this life. Yes. Uh, um, and they used to film uh, this, this important moment and there was this this man saying, I need to tell my story, I need to tell you my story. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, uh, Pia came with the um, biological mother. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, I met Pia in the same instant where Pia was reconnecting uh, was herself yeah. with the territory, right. the mm -hmm. motherland, and the. So you're kind of there mother. right at the beginning, getting, yes. those, getting those emotions, and then I guess you. The film you wanted to transfer the, those emotions to the film and the film right. no the film doesn't start it uh, uh, so fast uh, because um, the day uh, I remember I shoot an interview uh, to Pia and their brother and um, then we become slowly slowly friends mm -hmm. And there was this um, hidden idea to develop the movie, but I was a little bit scared. And they say, you met your um, um, biological family now. It's more important life than a movie, than a film. Yes. It's only the point of an iceberg, what you are discovering now. Right. So take your time and go forward with your um, inner life uh, and your this moment of uh, sharing and uh, we connection between uh, between all of you mm -hmm. because after 55 years I think oh, yes. you can become a stranger. I was emotional cripple then. Right. I really was emotional cripple. I could not fathom even telling the story because it was heartbreaking. It was I didn't want really people to know my mother's past or what I have been about. And I wasn't ready to communicate or be open mm -hmm. because my whole life I was closed. So mm -hmm. this was a very slow process to mm -hmm. get to know. 
And that was the only reason I, I feel, because of Antonella, his patients, and I, my patients, I knew one day that uh, we would be ready. I remember the day I said, you know, we were talking about a movie, and I thought, yeah. really, you think? But, you know, we just, it was a long road. Do a lot of the stories in the town, uh, of the town's inhabitants, actually make it into the film as well? I mean, yes. are there, yeah, I mean, like, yes. that. We and they're they're kind of play, are they kind of playing themselves in the film as well? Or? I spend a lot after this moment uh, uh, of um, exploration between me, uh, Pia, and uh, in the, in this place. Uh, I don't think we decided to make a movie. I think the movie decided for us. Insisted. And we yeah. wanted the people of Grappa to benefit by this, so we did. We hired many people. From Grappa, uh -huh. even uh, one of my other brothers was in the film, and children, and my 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 cousin, my mother's sister's son, who had a daughter who mm -hmm. looked just like me when I was that age, and she played me in the movie. Oh, wow! Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think so, it's a film uh, on a community. Mm -hmm. the, well, the, the the town is the star, really, uh, yeah. of the movie, uh, and, and it's. It's a it's a very cinematic kind of uh, locale, you know. It's uh, I mean, as you were saying, uh, there were a couple of movies that were a few movies that were yes. filmed there, including yes. um, the Gospel According to Saint Matthew, the Pasolini film, and also uh, Mel Gibson's Passion mm -hmm. of the Christ. Uh, it, it's almost like a town where any place you you set the camera, you're going to get an amazing shot. <laughs> oh, let's say that uh, these movies, um, uh, I think Montedoro is the only movie shot entirely mm. in Krakow. Uh -huh. These other movies are these big masters, and, and I want to mention also Francesco Rossi that died this yeah, year. Rossi. Fran the maestro Francesco Rossi shot in Krakow part of the uh, uh, Christ top the Neboli, yeah. and uh, from, the, from, from, from the book uh, by um, uh, Levy, Christ of the Neboli. Levy was uh, not only one of the biggest intellectual in Italy, uh, but um, more than Pasolini, and then, uh, of course, uh, Gibson, I respect very much him and his movies. But let's say that I like some other field of cinema. Um, and uh, so, Rossi, Francesco Rossi, especially that movie, that masterpiece, Christ of the Neboli, mm -hmm. was very important to me because when the film started growing, uh, um, that film was uh, was uh, uh, kind of was at a, the forefront of your mind. No, no, it was a sort of um, uh, model for me to study the costumes in the movie, mm -hmm. to study the faces in the movie, right. and to try to go deeper and deeper in this sense of community. Let's say that we started with Pia, but this is a film of, of transformation. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pia becomes the line that connects a community that now uh, doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So the community, uh, this film try to talk about uh, a landslide. This movie, this film is, uh, this place is empty from uh, 1963 after a big landslide. So it's a film I like, I would like to... We brought I, Rocco back to life a little bit. We yeah. gave it life. Mm -hmm. The it's landslide, also, yeah. it's all, And we made it live again instead of the ghosts and the dead. We gave, we, we gave respect to Grappo, and for me too, right? It was also uh, a survival story too. I survived, and I was able to go back and see. Mm -hmm. And it also made me feel, oh, now I know why I like certain things, or I like certain trees, or certain fruits. Mm. And I remember playing at a certain place. I said, oh, I remember playing there as a young child, looking at that tree. Mm -hmm. I remember. You know, it, it just was, and I have 
have to say this with complete, very humble. I could not have done this without Antonella's vision and Adriana's strength. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, it was our work, you know, together. And also because he, there were times I cried many times because he <laughs> wanted to get right in there, and that. I mean, it was a lot cheaper than a psychologist. Right. So he he helped, the mm. movie helped, and it just opened up my heart. Mm. And I let the anger and the loneliness and the um, despair go away. Mm. So it's survival for me, this story. It's great that there was a camera there to ca capture it all so beautifully, too. Uh, it wasn't... Is it a difficult region to, I mean, weather-wise, to because a lot of it is, is, you know, it takes place outside. So, did you have any difficulties weather-wise, or is it a pretty temperate region? Is it a sunshine it all the time? Or? It, was it was an adventure. It was a great adventure. Really? We spent seven years uh, making uh, this movie, mm -hmm. uh, starting uh, really from. Uh, from an idea, mm -hmm. and then once we uh, we was thinking that the urgency of this movie, uh, yes, uh, slowly, slowly, we recognized the difficulties of shooting in a place where there is nothing, mm -hmm. and um, in a small region that is moving. Uh, um, okay, we talked before about these big masters that just came in those years uh, and shoot in our region. Yeah. Now our region is moving uh, um, slowly, 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 slowly. Uh, uh, let's say the first steps in the film industry. There is a film commission uh, now uh, and slowly, slowly everything is growing. But uh, at the time there was nothing. We were alone. no support system. No, no support, uh, and and also the. Um, but the, I wouldn't give up. Mm. And also this uh, this uh, con conjunction of uh, episodes uh, while we were there. For example, uh, <clears throat> when we were starting, uh, the the. the the most important part of uh, the most important set of shooting, uh, there was the only bridge that connected the road, uh, the main mm -hmm. road yes. to Krakow collapsed, they fell down. Oh, so man. it's um, also the production of this movie was um, a sort of uh, uh, landslide, but right. not in, mm -hmm. a, in a negative uh, meaning, in a positive meaning, because uh, in a, a landslide there is. Um, a metaphor of cinema, there is movement, mm -hmm. something that is on the underground that is moving, it means that there is vitality. Is and there's vitality. change. Yeah. Where there's change, and there's life. So. Challenging. Yes. yes. One good thing was that I was able, when I first went there, I was able, with my brother's help, and my husband and my daughter came, I was able to go uh, exactly where I was born and lived for five years. And I remember I took a piece of rock from stone from the wall and I looked around and I it was small as you can imagine, mm -hmm. you know, rocks and so I was able to see my life for the first five years. Mm -hmm. And that was the only time because then it crumbled and it was too dangerous and we were not able to go. At least I had the chance to see, you know. My beginning. Mm -hmm. Your your film actually captures towards the end of the movie some of the crumbling of the of the. How, how long did you of the town? How long did you have to wait for that to happen? Or did you <laughs> did you? I don't want to give away the final shot of the movie. Not that it's story sensitive, but it is an extraordinary final. final Let's say moment. coming back with the, the production that. The, my mind, uh, working on this film, uh, um, was always thinking uh, um, this is the last thing I will do in my life. It was a sort of a <clears throat> testamentary um, uh, work for me. And uh, 
I enjoy it very much. I, I like the physical cinema. Uh, I like to challenge the location, and the people, and myself. Uh, I want to try to see the limits and try to push our limits. And then I try to do it with myself and with all the people mm -hmm. involved with the film. With Pia, <laughs> they, they, they were very patient with me, and also Krakow was very patient yeah. with me. And uh, answering to your question, why we were shooting, uh, sometimes we were spectators of, uh, yeah. uh, some collapses of uh, buildings. Mm -hmm. It really and so, was a privilege, to be honest, to see the, the death of something crumble. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to close the film. With uh, clothes and talk also about these stones and these, uh, let's say, rolling stones uh, <laughs> in the in the film because I think this film is um, is a film uh, about uh, vitalic stones. It's a film about vitalic stones. I am a stone. You are a stone. Here yeah. is a stone. And these these uh, these. Um, and for this we have memories of other people, of other gift, of, uh, of the landscape. Uh, and uh, I wanted to give the, the real stone of this place a new vitality. Mm -hmm. And uh, my dream is to... to and we, we will do that, to organize this screening in an empty Krakow, only for the... Yeah. only for Krakow. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna take? They have? Have they seen? They haven't seen the movie yet, or uh, not for the people? For not the, the people. For the for the stones. Yeah. Yeah. I want to screen the film for the stones. <laughs> screen it on them. Yes, yeah. that would be amazing. With, uh, without people, only uh -huh. empty for the stones. That would. Yeah. That's. That's a that's, movie and a movie. That is. Now that's, <laughs> that's, now a, really that's a ghost story. <laughs> that's what you call phantasma. Yes. <laughs> It was very hard making this yeah. movie. Yeah, it was very hot. Too. Very challenging. Yeah. We we worked. Sometimes we'd get up at three and like, uh, you know make up and whatever and work. I we used to one night till two o'clock at we night. We used to live there in the abandoned we, school. I lived in my mother's right. home. Because she had passed away. Uh -huh. And all the crew used to live in the abandoned school, yeah. in the abandoned village. Right. We no. uh, we roughed it. Was there any kind of fear there, since the thing is crumbling down? Like no. You, no, no, because, because they're all home. <laughs> <laughs> no, because a little? When, there was one incident, a bat went into my pocketbook, and I took it home with me, belongs to me. Uh -huh. So that was very scary, but um, it, uh, it felt, for me, I was home. I, I was never scared being in my mother's home, right. in her bed. But she had I, passed away, but I was not afraid. Yeah. But, but if I can say, it's not a matter of uh, fear, it's a matter of gift. And um, if I can add, I, I moved to Krakow to live there. I spent a lot of time living alone okay. in the abandoned school, in the abandoned village of Krakow. Right. I wanted to create uh, a relationship between me, this place, and Absolutely. the ghost of this place. The film could only benefit from something like that. Yeah. yeah. and. Um, for me, it's an act of gift, this film. For Pia, for, Indo, for all the... for Krakow and for my region. And I thank you very much, Pia, for giving me this you privilege. Gave, you, it, was, so it, was, it was a rebirth. You gave me life. You know, and uh, it's how many people can you thank for giving you your life back? Mm. So, uh, for me, you know, we're family. I treasure this movie. It is my child, you know. Well, it's a wonderful kind film. The movie is called Montaduro, and I'm here with the lead actress, Pia Marie Mann, and the director, Antonello Ferrita. And we thank you so much for tuning in for Movie Geeks United and the Atlanta Film Festival. I'm Dean Treadway, and uh, good luck at the screening thank tomorrow. Thank you very much. I think, I think much. it's going to be very exciting. For Bye. Thank the you. Most, thank it's a very adventurous movie, so check it out. Montadora. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. much.